Bonjour, in today's video we are going to talk about the present participle. The participle is an impersonal mood, which means that it cannot be conjugated. It exists in the past, the past participle, and in the present, the present participle. The present participle corresponds to the English verbal form in ing. For instance, dormant, sleeping. To form the present participle, conjugate the verb in the first person plural of the present indicative, remove the ending ONS and replace it with ANT. For instance, for faire, nous faisons, faisant, so to do, we do, doing. There are three exceptions, avoir, ayant, so to have, having, être, étant, to be, being, and savoir, sachant, to know, knowing. But the adjective and the noun savant do exist. For instance, un savant fou, a mad scientist. The present participle is used in the following situations. Firstly, as a verbal form to express an action that is happening. It has an active meaning, it is invariable, and it can be replaced by qui plus a conjugated verb. Please note that it is often followed by an object. For instance, les étudiants travaillant dur réussiront. The students working hard will succeed. Secondly, the present participle can be used to form the gerund. It is a preposition en followed by the present participle. The gerund is invariable. It is translated as by, in or while plus the ing form and corresponds to a complement expressing simultaneity or manner, for instance. For example, on ne parle pas en mangeant. We do not talk while eating. The gerund usually refers to the subject of the sentence. For example, Il s'est cassé la jambe en skiant. Il s'est cassé la jambe alors qu'il skiait. He broke his leg while skiing or while he was skiing. A present participle at the beginning of a sentence also refers to the subject. For instance, Croyant qu'il lui était destiné, elle a ouvert le cadeau de son frère par erreur. Comme elle croyait qu'il lui était destiné, elle a ouvert le cadeau de son frère par erreur. Believing that it was meant for her, or as she believed that it was meant for her, she opened her brother's present by mistake. Otherwise, the present participle refers to the object that precedes it. For example, le professeur écoute les étudiants voulant lui parler, le professeur écoute les étudiants qui veulent lui parler, The professor listened to the students wanting to talk to him or who want to talk to him. Finally, the present participle can be used as a verbal adjective. Like any adjective, it agrees in gender and number with the noun to which it refers. Sometimes verbal adjectives are so common that we forget that they derive from a verb. For example, c'est une théorie intéressante. It is an interesting theory. A noun can derive from a verbal adjective. For instance, les étudiants sont stressés à l'approche des examens. The students are stressed as exams approach. The spelling of the present participle and the gerund, on the one hand, and the verbal adjective and the noun that derived from it, on the other hand, sometimes varies. While the present participle has a G-U-A-N-T ending, the verbal adjective has a G-A-N-T ending. For instance, fatigant, fatigant, tiring. While the present participle has a Q-U-A-N-T ending, the verbal adjective has a C-A-N-T ending. For example, convaincant, convaincant, convincing. And finally, some verbal adjectives have an E-N-T ending. For instance, différent, différent, different. And last but not least, know that there is also a past present participle called the past participle. This is the auxiliary avoir or être in the present participle followed by the past participle of the verb. For instance, ayant fait, having done, étant venu, having come, or s'étant levé, having got up. Bon travail, au revoir. Created using Powtoon.